The Bible is the best-selling book of all time. It includes historical information, informative stories, poetry, philosophy, and personal letters. But, above all, the Bible is the Word of God. If we had to pick one goal for the Bible, it would be to reveal God to us. There are many things about God that we would never know unless He told us. God's self-revelation to humanity is the Bible. The Bible also tells us about ourselves. It teaches us about our sin and God's plan of salvation through Jesus Christ. The Bible is an irreplaceable gift from God, and it is our duty not only to understand its purpose, but also to use it to further God's glory in a world in desperate need. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 through 17. And how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. One of the most thorough purpose statements found in the Bible. From infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus, the Apostle Paul writes to his young assistant, Timothy. All Scripture is divine and is useful for teaching, admonishing, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that God's servant is comprehensively prepared for every good work. Many parts of the Bible are spoken directly by God, while other parts are spoken by men He guided. But it is all His Word, and it is all beneficial and authoritative. The Bible reveals the path to salvation. What's more, it will teach us, correct us when we are wrong, and train us to do what is right so that we can do God's work. We can learn more about God's nature by studying the stories in the Bible. Our human brains may never fully comprehend God, but His Word provides clues as to how God has interacted with His people over generations. Here are a few more Bible verses that speak to the Bible's own purpose in our lives. To keep us from sin, how can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. Psalm chapter 119 verse 9. For spiritual guidance, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm chapter 119, verse 105. The Bible was also written to give us an accurate account of Jesus so that we might believe in him and have eternal life. John chapter 20, verse 30 through 31. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. To reassure the believer of his salvation, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John chapter 5, verse 13. The gospel message is central to the Bible. The sinful nature of man is revealed in the books of the Old Testament. We learn that a sacrifice was required to make things right with God. Jesus, God's own Son, was sent to be that sacrifice. John chapter 1, verse 12. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We are meant to delight in the word of God and its purpose in our life. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7 through 11. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The decrees of the Lord are firm, and all of them are righteous. They are more precious than gold, than pure gold. They are sweeter than honey, than honey from the honeycomb. By them your servant is warned, in keeping them there is great reward. When Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus did not only declare God's word is more important than earthly things, he also refuted Satan's temptation by quoting from the Word of God. One of the Bible's purposes is to provide vital spiritual nourishment and to assist us in resisting temptation. Right after his baptism by John, the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness, reminding us that at last, part of his preparation for ministry came from a wilderness encounter. A wilderness experience is almost always cited as part of a quality leader's preparation. During this period, our motives are filtered, our backbone is strengthened, and our calling is made clear. The devil tempted Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days to see what he would give up and how he would trust God to provide. When Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus did not only declare God's word is more important than earthly things, 
He also refuted Satan's temptation by quoting from the Word of God. One of the Bible's purposes is to provide vital spiritual nourishment and to assist us in resisting temptation. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting forty days and forty nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. The Bible can help us put ourselves in context and cut through the distractions of the culture of today that would otherwise lead us away from God. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to divide soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Human ingenuity or willpower will not change people's lives. God's purposes are fulfilled when His word is truthfully proclaimed. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10 through 11. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return to it without watering the earth, and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. The Bible is more than just a collection of knowledgeable sayings that can be plucked from anywhere. As Christians, we can benefit from the entire Bible. The Bible is a cohesive work that must be read and studied in context so that it can be applied accurately. Christians who want to please and know God in their lives must consume God's Word on a regular basis. Those who are not believers but are curious or even skeptical about the Bible should read it for themselves to see what it is about. See what it is.